Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Byron Q and I'm here to talk to you guys about my process for screenwriting. So the way I approach screenwriting and any kind of storytelling is first I have to come up with a solid concept. The way I do that is I actually just kind of sit around and think about what I want to do, think about a story, and this kind of thinking process will take um, you know, anywhere from a month to six months or it could be even longer. So this kind of thinking process is very crucial because I feel like the concept is actually the most important thing about um, the story. Once I have like a solid concept that I come up with, then I start writing a treatment. Um, the way I do a treatment is I'll actually just open up Google Doc and I'll just start typing. Um, and it's more like prose but as well as you know I'll put dialogue in there as well so it could be um, just think of it as you're reading the summary for um, like a chapter for the treatment it's really just for myself to look at and to um, work on so from the treatment I'm, I'm working in the treatment form for as long as possible and I'm writing dialogue in there I'm writing um, description and I'm writing detailed stuff like very detailed dialogue and I try to stay in there for as long as possible um, and the reason why I do this treatment form is because you have a much shorter document to look at when you want to get a overall sense of your story so it's easy for me to wake up every day in the morning and look at this treatment and what I have so far and I read through it and I get a sense of like the characters and the story and the progression of the story once I have something solid in the treatment form, and this could be, you know, I could be spending weeks on this treatment, um, depending on how much time I'm dedicating it to every day. For me, I write every day, or at least I would say five days out of the week, and writing, whether that means, you know, sitting and thinking about the idea, or if I'm actually typing, but I try to always go into it every day, because you kind of keep that habit going, keep that practice going, so that you never really get um, too rusty. So. From the treatment form, once that's um, pretty much in a place where I'm happy with, then I can easily translate that onto uh, a script, into a script format. The script program software that I use, my preferred choice, is actually Writer Duet. Like a lot of people use Final Draft, I think that's like the industry standard. But there's a lot of these new apps that are coming out, like Highland from uh, John August or in this case, Writer Duet, which I really love. I already paid for the uh, lifetime membership of this. And um, it's just like, you can write anywhere. You know, you can write on your phone. Everything's kind of like um, saved on a, uh, in the cloud. As well as you can, you know, download it onto your um, computer as well. But I like having this sort of, you can write anytime you want. You don't need to have your desktop computer in front of you. So, Using Writer Duet, now all I'm doing is really just taking that treatment and putting it into that script format. So this process is actually super easy for me because it's more like a transcription. Once I have that done, then I actually have a script. But the script might be only, you know, like 75 pages or something. And then from that point, I'm working in the script, I'm working out the dialogue, revisiting certain scenes, rewriting certain scenes or in some cases going through the whole script and rewriting everything, like you know, every single little detail. Um, and that's, that's pretty much like the gist of my process. Um, sometimes I'll actually go back to my treatment. If, if I go to the script and I'm having some issues, like something doesn't make sense or the story's not really working out, I'll go back to my treatment and keep working at it there. And even sometimes taking what I wrote in the script and putting it back into the treatment so that the treatment is like updated version of like what I have in the script because sometimes a lot of stuff could start changing as I'm you know writing in the script format there's like this kind of back and forth thing I don't like to do it too much but sometimes it has to be done and then I'll keep rewriting the script over and over um, until it's at a good place where I feel like this is the most I've done and then from there I start sending it out to other um, filmmakers other writers as well as consultants and this is like a crucial step in my process because I'm getting honest feedback from people that um, are professionals. And this is what a lot of people say, which is like you shouldn't just give your script to your mom or a friend because 
you know, maybe they don't know anything about filmmaking, they don't know anything about stories, they'll love anything that you write. Um, you need, really need people there who know what they're talking about and who are very good at story themselves to give you that straight, honest feedback about what's working, what's not working, maybe even some ideas. And then from there, I get that third perspective where they basically tell me, oh yeah, what you thought was great, isn't that great? Once I know that, I can go back and start reworking it. Because if I don't get that feedback, then I keep thinking that, oh yes, my script is perfect, this is great. You know, I think a lot of writers get into that mode in the beginning where it's like you write something, you finish it, and it took you so long to do it. And you're just like, oh my God, I'm so happy I finished it. I think it's great, it's perfect. I think my script is always perfect, like the first time I write it. Then slowly all the holes start showing up. Um, as I get feedback from people, or if I start rethinking something, I realize, oh, okay, that's not as great as I thought it was. Um, but I think you do need that initial um, excitement and feeling of like, oh, I did something good to kind of keep your motivation going because writing is such a long process and it's very tedious and a lot of times, you know, you could get burnt out um, from a story and I definitely have done that where, you know, some stories I just left it on the chopping block because um, I lost interest in the story or I hit a roadblock and I couldn't really get out of it. These type of scenarios I'll actually revisit later on. Like I have uh, so many stories that I wrote like, you know, a rough draft or, or two or three drafts of it and then I kind of just put it aside because uh, I didn't think it was that great. But sometimes I'll go back and I'll rethink those ideas and in certain instances, a fresh idea comes because you've left it aside for so long that now you have this um, fresh take on it and you can look at it as if you were like a third person um, looking at somebody else's script where you can really see all the problems. So that's pretty much um, like the gist of my process. If you guys are having issues with your screenwriting or if you're just starting off and you're trying to learn I think a great place to um, start or even if you're already like um, you know a writer and you've been writing a bunch of scripts already but you just want to improve I think a great tool right now is actually Masterclass with uh, Aaron Sorkin as well as um, you know they, they have like other writers on there David Mamet and other filmmakers where they talk about their craft that's such a great tool to have to really get from these like high level writers about their process. And a lot of times you see people have different processes um, and sometimes people have sort of the same thing. It's really up to you to kind of figure out what works best for you because not everybody's minds really works the same way. So go out there, give it a shot and um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know in the comments below what other types of videos, or if you want to know more about screenwriting specifically, uh, let me know what kind of videos you, gonna, you guys want to see, and I'll try my best to you know, do more of these vlogs. All right, thanks a lot, guys.